Oh my god, there's so many new things. Where's strengthenings? Ah, here we go. Here we go. Five star saber, huh? <laughs> Dude, did they accidentally leak it? You think? Wow, and it's the first one in the first batch. That's crazy. No, it has to be her, right? It's Artoria. Because if you look at the, if you watch the stream, the part where they showed the new feature of like, you know, putting like more supports for like recommended supports for certain hard boss battles in part one, there was an Arturia there and she had two buster icons, okay? She doesn't have two buster icons. She has a sword. They're gonna buff her charisma. They're gonna do it. They're, they're finally gonna do it. That surely wasn't a graphical mistake. But okay, otherwise, what do we have? Three star Saber. I got to hope that's Saber Jill. Okay, uh, five star Assassin. I'm, my bias is hoping for Lee, obviously, but but honestly, hmm, maybe Osaka Behime could be really poggers. Jack could, could be great because her skills suck. I think those are the three most like, unless I'm, maybe semi rummies. It could, honestly, it could be many different things like Shuten, Cleo. Yeah, I think if it's not one of those, then I'll be kind of surprised. <laughs> yeah, watch it. Be. If it's King Hassan's MP, holy, I'll cream all over my desk because it's the only bad part left in him. Okay, uh, three star caster. Uh, <laughs> do you think without even saying any names, do you think it's going to be him? <laughs> There's no way. There's. They're not gonna buff him. Because he, he needs more than one buff. He needs a full overhaul. It's not gonna be him. I'm guessing maybe Media. Yeah. Or Caster Jill. They kind of like him. Five-star Rider, four-star Assassin. Iskandar, surely. He's so close to being good. His numbers are good, but his effects are not there. He just needs, like, either, a, like, a battery or something else. Because he uh, he's so close to being uh, pretty usable again. Also, let's see. Uh, Assassin. Who would the four-star Assassin be? Maybe Carry. He always gets shafted. Steno could be, yeah. Yanqing, he's already pretty good, but I guess he's possible. Shiki, hmm, that's tough. Oh yeah, we have two five-star foreigners, right? That's great. Wait, are they both five-star? They are both five-star. Oh, wow. So two five-star four. What the hell? I, I hope one of them is Jacques, because the last buff they gave them was, is, was a cruel joke. It didn't really change anything. It was like, so, oh, now you don't have to really use curse command codes. Yay. Thanks. Like, please give her a proper buff. I'm hoping Jacques is one of them, at least. I'm thinking OG Abby could be the other one. Maybe Hoxai. Hoxai, they like Hoxai a lot, too. Yeah. Voyager already has a good amount of buffs. He's not actually bad anymore. I'm sure Plushy is kind of gripping for Koyan Dark, but I don't think it's going to be Koyan Dark on either of them, as much as he doesn't want to hear that. But it could be. I wouldn't be too surprised. I, don't, I just don't think it's going to happen. All right, three-star archer. Who's that going to be? I don't know, actually. Maybe Billy. He kind of sucks. <laughs> Kid Gil. Yeah, could be Kid Gil. He kinda, he's not great either. Uh, Tota is in a decent spot after his most recent buff. This this is a hard one to predict, actually, the three-star archer. Five-star ruler. Hmm. I think it could still be John, even though her last buff wasn't so long ago, but it's probably not her. I'm thinking Johanna or maybe ruler Moriarty from the top of my head. Who else is there that should be buffed? Okay, anyone saying Himiko? Absolutely not. People need to use Himiko more. She's great. I, I think, I, dude, this is the pl plushy brain wash. He keeps saying Himiko needs a buff. She's good. Use Himiko. She's really good. There's so many rulers that need more buffs. Oh, yeah. Bunny Toria. Yeah, true. Kenshin, no freaking way. That's not happening. No, neither is Summer Melusin, no. Sherlock? Yeah, maybe. But after his battery buff, I like him a lot already. Amakusa? He's already fully buffed, so I doubt that. I mean, this doesn't say that it's impossible, but I really doubt that. I I'm thinking John Moriarty or Johanna. That's what I'm thinking. Summer Scotty? No. One Star Assassin. That has to be Charlotte, right? I think Matahari is pretty good nowadays, too, and Regan and Ori is kind of cracked besides his numbers. It has to be Charlotte. If it's not Charlotte, that's too cruel, man. All the others are pretty decent at at least something. Charlotte is not decent at anything. She just sucks. Phantom is two stars, so it can't be him. A three Star Rider. Boudica? Medusa? Medusa could use a lot of buffing. She's still pretty bad. Alexander is not amazing. Not Ushi. There's no way they'll buff Ushi. Uh, they love her, but they're, they're, there's no way. Red hair. Yeah, true. He could use a buff. He kind of sucks too. He's way too RNG and way too low on stats. Columbus? Could be, actually. I'm thinking Columbus, Alexander, red hair, or Medusa. Whoa, wait, there's a... The final day is two casters? Spicy! It's not double five star, but it's a five and a four star. Whoa, spicy! Okay, there's gonna be so much Merlin copium, especially on the Japanese. I think app media always says like, Merlin, Merlin, Merlin. I think last year they were screaming for Merlin buff as well. Like, my bros on Jap Jap Japan are high, dude. There's a lot of opportunity to four star at least. I still think they should buff Sheba more. Otto is gonna disagree, but I think she kinda is whatever burger. Cersei is kinda whatever. Nursery rhymes kinda sucks. 
No one wants to hear this, but I think the five-star caster is going to be a DPS. I don't think it's going to be a support. I think it's going to be a DPS. But it is the final day, so they could least spice. If it's a support, I'm thinking it's Tamamo. Second skill of the morph of Tamamo is going to get buffed. That's what I'm thinking, but I'm still thinking it's more likely to be a DPS than a support. Summer Umu. Well, they love Umu, so honestly, I would not be surprised. That's actually a possibility. <laughs> oh yeah, Anastasia is possible. She's still kind of whatever after her one buff from last year, I think. Yeah, but it's maybe still too recent. Ilya. Yeah, Ilya could be buffed more. Her, She has one skill buff and an, I think an MP buff, but the other two skills are very bad. So they could fix her more. Helena could use a buff as well, yeah. She's fine, but still not like... She's kind of fallen from grace. She's a victim of time. Miu. Miu skill buff would be great because her MP is correct after the buff, but her skills still suck. Well, there you go. There's some food for thought. So yeah, starting from tomorrow, we'll be covering a 5-star Saber and a 3-star Saber, or should I say a 3-star Saber and Artoria. <laughs> if it's not Artoria, I'm gonna call them out like crazy. That's way too cruel, because they showed that screenshot, right, in the slide, where she had two Buster Up icons. I mean, I'm not even the biggest Artoria fan, but I'll be mad because that's a debate and a half. Also, pretty good timing, because NA is getting the free Artoria soon. I mean, not that there really was too much choice. I'm, I'm guessing 99% of people will pick Artoria anyway, but yeah, especially after tomorrow's potential buff it could be even better to do that so there you go i don't know maybe i'll post this as well as like a prediction i i could do like a much better prediction maybe uh, if i just sat down looked at all the class lists and whatnot i was just talking from the top of my head here but it's fun to speculate May i'll probably do like actual better predictions at the end of my buff breakdowns as i usually do on anniversaries there's some you know discussion food for thoughts enjoy and let's hope these buffs are good and well deserved right that's what we always hope for biases aside all right video over